Welcome to another Coffee Break episode. Actually, I'm, I'm saying that because this is the second time. This is the second time? Uh, this is the second time. What happened was during the pandemic, we were scheduling to do a coffee break. Ah, that's right. Right? That's right. Yep, that's right. And we yeah. end up, I said, you know what? Let's just do it through Instagram. Exactly. Yeah. And we did, right? And we did it through oh, Instagram. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I was reflecting on that today and I said, wow, this is so, so amazing that at least we got something else to talk about. Exactly. That we first tried to get the coffee break done yeah. and it just didn't work. So we end up using um, uh, Instagram live instead. We made it happen. No, we made it happen. But now to actually have you present, it's a whole different thing, bro. It is. It is. I, I, I'm, I'm very excited. Dude, I'm super excited that you're here, man. And, and thank you for, for always um, uh, reaching out and, and being that friend. You thank know? you. Yeah. Thank you, Ba. I appreciate you a lot, man. So today, I wanted to have people, first of all, people that know me, right? You've already seen that episode. It's a small little clip of it um, on our lives, but there's also other aspects of you that that people don't know, right? Besides, you know, your your situation. But if you can, for all those that don't know, if you could just quickly touch in about, you know, who you are, who is Carlitos Evans? Uh, Carlito, first of all, I'm a miracle. Amen to that. I'm a fighter. Uh, I'm not a victim. Mm. Uh, I'm a husband. And I'm a father. And I wake up every day trying to be the best in everything I do. That's who I am. When you say victim, that you're not a victim, what, what made you use that phrase? Because people, when... They initially see me for their first time. They see that I don't have any legs, that I'm missing a hand. So they have this mentality like, wow, he's been to, through so much. So I always wake up and I go to sleep. I'm not a victim of, of pain. I'm not a victim of an explosion. I'm not a victim of, of anything. I, I just don't, especially on society today, Right. That, you know, being a victim is like, uh, it's like sometimes like, like we, we embrace that, you know, mm. because, you know, we like the idea or we could fall in the idea that, you know, uh, uh, the people feeling sorry for you, you know? Right. Right. And I just, I, I, I don't, I don't embrace that, you know, I right. don't embrace that. I, I, uh. I try to, I try to, to step in and 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 live my life to my best. Right. I I don't receive that mentality. Okay. I can't. So now the now somebody watching this now is gonna see what you're saying mm -hmm. at this moment, right? Yeah. But were there hurdles, right, that you had? Obviously, that there was hurdles that you faced, that allows you to give that answer now. Yeah. Yeah. But there was a one point in your life, I'm assuming, I'm, just, I'm asking you, right? Was there a point of your life where, where you gave yourself that ban hour, that like, oh, you looked at yourself and you were like, man, is this, yes, is this I, me for the rest of my life? Yes, I, I, there, there were points in my life that I wanted to be a victim and that I became a victim. You did. Because I wanted to give up. Mm. And those hurdles were, you know, I, I'm 29 years old and I wake up in a hospital bed without my legs, without my hand, with all these scars in my body. From an explosion in Afghanistan. So when I stepped on the IED in Afghanistan and my four combat deployment, three in Iraq and my last one in Afghanistan as a Marine, a leading Marine as a Sergeant. So, you know, I was, uh, I was used to, you know, I was used to to lead, you know. I was used to, you know, being the tough guy, mm. you know. Uh, I was used to, you know, being not independent, not dependent, very independent. Very independent. So, you know, now I wake up in a hospital bed and I don't have my legs, I don't have my hand, I have all these scars in my body. I feel so weak. Mm. And I was like, 
living is not even worth it because who wants to live you know without legs or without my hand and right so i was very depressed very very depressed and uh i was suicidal and uh uh i was embracing that i was embracing uh my wounds right and i was looking for a lot of excuses for not to move forward because I said it. No one can tell me anything because no one can relate to me. Right, right. You know, right. because that's that's one of the first things that you do, you know. Yeah. You can't tell me what to do because you're not going through what I'm going through, right? But uh I had a friend that she put me in check. And she came to my house and she saw the way I was acting, the way I was uh dealing with my family. And she was like, if you don't change your life, mm. you're gonna lose everything that you have. Because mm. you're focusing on the things that you don't have, and you're not focusing on the things that you have. And that really, that was a, that, 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 that was a, a, a breakthrough in my life. Right. I was like, no, you know. There's other people that have been through a lot of different things in life, yeah. you know, and are moving forward. Uh, I got to focus on the things that I have. Right. And when I did that, you know, I, there was a shift. That, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Because it, it goes into exactly where we want to be at now at this point. Mm -hmm. right? where, where in your life, like something like massive as an ex you step on explosion. And then now we're in 2024, right? Yeah. And you're alive. Yeah. You're thankful. You know, your kids are, are yeah. grown. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You still, your wife is still on your side. Oh, yeah. Right? Um, the friends that were there before, you mm -hmm. know, maybe some of them have gone. Yeah. But your family has stood solid, you know, on, on that corner, like rooting for you. Yeah. So now, from then to now, consistency, right, is what kind of brought you to this point. Yes. I'm assuming, right? Yes. Changing a mindset, yes. like I always talk on my channel too, is just more like it, everything starts up here, right? The Bible says, you know, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yes. Because there's so many things that bombard our minds daily. Daily. So then in you, you have thoughts in your mind, plus you have a physical, you know, impairment in, in, a, in a way. That's a reminder every that, day. Right. That's a reminder for you. That's what I was going to ask you, yeah. right? Do you see it as like a reminder? Like, wow. Yeah. A lot of people... Ask, you know, a lot of people ask me, and sometimes I, I had to learn, and I'm still learning. Uh, healing, for me, it's an everyday thing. You know, mm. this is not, I, 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 I've learned that I cannot say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm 100% good because of what I did yesterday. Right. No. For me, every day I have to practice. Yeah. You know, I have to repeat to myself. Yeah. I have to have that life of prayer. I have to have uh, that team. I have to have my family. I have to. I have to face that hurdle every day. Right. Because when I wake up, I want to walk. Mm -hmm. but my legs are not there. Right. Every day I miss my hand. Every day I have pain. So this is something that I have to repeat myself and be consistent every day, so I can be effective and be the father have to be the husband the human being yeah and and that's so good to 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 hear because also what what i've been involved with is a lot of young adults right young yeah. men yeah that we've been around um now lately recently like right just being around young adult men yeah that that don't know what it is to be a man you know and they got traumas they got things that that they have gone through but because they're looking at their pain they're looking at their you know pain of maybe papi wasn't there daddy wasn't there or whatever yeah, yeah. you know we can go on a rabbit hole of just mm -hmm. all the things that that weren't but what you're saying is just being consistent with just looking past that more than looking past that it's facing it and knowing what are your weakness and what are your strengths Mm. and growing from that uh to me being a man was oh joining the marine corps you know having the medals wearing the uniform i'm like i'm done yeah but 
waking up in a hospital bed and trying to figure out how do I live my life now? Asking for help. Mm. That's manhood. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that. And yeah. and having um, that's good that you brought that up because like also sometimes men think that they can't have other men mm -hmm. in their life to kind of hold their hand in so, a sense, you know, mm -hmm. to like, yo, bro, I got you. Don't worry. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm your friend, mm -hmm. not looking for anything in return, but just to be truly your friend there. And there's men out there also that because of the pride or guyo or the, all this other stuff of what they got going on, they don't allow other men to enter in, into their into their circle as like a team member in in a sense yeah to help them get through you know what they got going on were there like during your process was there any men like obviously your wife we already know she was you know there your kids but uh, uh another male figure that told you hey listen puppy i'm here with you too man you know the, the marine corps it's it's a very uh tight band of brothers okay. you know so in the hospital, uh, the Marines, they were there since day one. And you know, they encouraged me, they, uh, they pushed me forward, and they're always there. But now, as now I'm retired, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and living in my community, uh, my, my buddies are not there to my right and to my side physically mm. so you know i have to open my heart to uh people that probably don't understand you know their military life right but there are other things that they understand and they're open to help you know so i had i had i had i had friends i made friends in the most difficult time of my life that today have become family Mm. I had my pastors, I had uh, uh, mentors, doctors, nurses, my father, my brother. Uh, I have a lot of good friends. Mm. Uh, that's why I say today I have more hands today than when I had before. Mm, that's powerful. Because of the people that are surrounding me. Yeah. But it was hard. It's, 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 it's hard to accept. Yeah that you can't do this by yourself. Right. You know? Yeah. And it takes a real man to, to it, actually like allow that because you have to want that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Especially like, you know, uh, I was learning how to use my wheelchair and, you know, I was had to go up a hill and I can't, you know, I, I, I can't. And people were trying to help me because that's common sense. Like, oh, give, let me, let me help him out. And I'm like, oh, oh, no, I don't want. Yeah. But I remember I had a friend that he was helping me my, with my wheelchair. Yeah. And me being vulnerable. Right. It made me at the same time sensible to other people's needs. So when, when you can see someone else and see his needs and then compare it to your needs and when you open your heart like that, it, mm -hmm. it's... It makes you grow because everything that you do in life is not for yourself. Right. It's for the people that are around you as well, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah it's, uh, I'm very grateful for the people that are around me. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah me, me too, man. I'm always, I'm always thankful, man. That's something you got to always mm -hmm. be thankful for. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, you know, God is in your life. Oh, no, that's a yeah, right? definite. And, and he's like the ultimate, right, yeah. uh, uh, portion. Mm -hmm. Right of of who you are, yeah, and he's got you through through so much stuff. You write in your book and stuff, right? You're also an author, right? You've yeah. written your own book, and and now you got a lot of other things that that you're doing to in like to impact in a whole another way, yeah, right. Um, you're on social media. You're doing a lot of more videos, reels, and stuff. That there's a comical side to you <laughs> yeah. as well. You know what I mean. Which is a which is awesome to to see that it's not just the Siri military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, all of a sudden, this happened and whatever, but you 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 know how to like um, showcase it in such a loving way that it's amazing. Um, so now, while you got all these things going on, 
I'm pretty sure you've probably developed a, a team to just help you kind of like yeah. navigate through these new, uh, yeah. se- this new season of your this life. New season of how's, life. How's, that, how's that new season looking for you now as you, you know, uh, take it day by day now? I'm learning every day. Uh, the people that are around me, I have to, I, I have to understand that, that the best of me, that even when I think that I have accomplished, that I, that I mean, I'm in my peak, that was yesterday. Mm. <laughs> the best days of my life are not behind me. There's something new every day. And for me to, for me to do that, I have to, I have to, I have to ask. And, and, and God is awesome because God always puts people in your path that are that are gonna guide you and direct you but for that to happen you have to be vulnerable you have to you have to be humble right. you have to be humble you have to be humble and say hey i don't know how to do this help me and i rather have people in my life that correct me you know that tell me when i'm wrong hey you're wrong and then people in my life that are applauding me oh no yeah that's okay that's right and that's something that I have to learn, yeah. you know, because there's people, you know, in every season of your life, there's, there's a lot of people going to come to your life and, and some people will be there and, and they see that you're doing something wrong and they won't say anything because they just want you to be happy. Right. You know, but I, I pray to God to put people in my life that will correct me when I'm wrong, you know, and, 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 and me to be humble and don't be mad about it. Right. Because it's a learning experience. Yeah. But, uh. You know, every every day, every day, especially with with my with, with my prosthetics. Uh, when you were saying about the <laughs> with the with the jokes that I do uh, yeah. when I'm online, just for me to be able to laugh about about hey, yeah, I don't have my legs. <laughs> hey, I don't have my hand. Before, I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror mm. because I said I used to say I'm incomplete. I'm ugly. I'm a monster, you know. And and now that I could look at this experience and you know and and and, and laugh about it and, yeah. and and it it's it's it produces healing because like I said it's an everyday thing. Yeah. Know? Yeah. That's awesome, bro. It's great to have you, man. No, no. I'm, I'm very happy. It's it's so great to have you, bro, and <laughs> and hear insight from you especially, you know, like like people that just they're always complaining, bro. You know, people always complaining about something or whatever, but but they never get like there's always somebody that's in a worse situation, right? It could always be, you know, uh uh worse. But like I wanted to do this 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 interview because not not to showcase, like you said, it's not to to highlight the pena, it's to to highlight how you overcame, right? And how you continue to overcome every single day, bro. Because you said it, you said it. You look, you look at it every day, yeah. and it reminds you, right, of where you, where you kind of like came from and where you're going. I I I'm thinking about something, and I'm I'm reminded one day I uh, I went on a skiing trip, and I met an instructor, and when he saw, saw me, that. he was like, uh, in a week you're gonna be skiing in the top of that that hill. That mountain and I was like no I'm not yeah. and he kept repeating that and a week I was skiing down that hill Look at that. but he was with me the first four days guided me directed me I fell a whole bunch of times I tripped I, it was it was a disaster for the first three or four days yeah. but in the end I'm skiing down the hill and then that last day he looks at me and says Hey, sorry, Evans. Look at the top of that hill. And when I, when he said that, I was reminded. Oh, the first day I met him. So sometimes, you know, when when life brings you challenges, and life is gonna bring you challenges and trials, it's it's part of life. Mm-hmm. God is gonna put in your path people that are gonna guide you, direct you, show you that. It's possible right. to do what you want to do. It's possible to climb up that hill. Amen. 
sometimes we don't see it because we're looking, we're focusing on the negative, mm -hmm. you know? So open your eyes, your ears, and look at your surroundings. There's someone that knocking at your door and they say, hey, get up that bed. Yeah. Hey, finish, finish that degree. Hey, you can do more. Hey, finish that marathon. You know, that goal that you promised yourself that you were going to do, yeah. you know, do it. And that's why we're doing this. Yes. You know, so this podcast is, yeah. it's part of it. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I see it every day. Yeah. Amen. I want to finish with a closing statement that recently I've been seeing a lot of, and I'm not sure if it's just the times that we're living in now where, where people are questioning God so much. Um, and I've seen it in my feed, like for some reason, it just uh, um, uh, moments where, where people are just asking the question, you know, asking professors, like people are looking for answers, you know, about the Lord. But at the same time, people are, are like questioning, like, oh yeah, if God is so big, God is so loving, how can he make me go through this, right? Did you ever tell yourself that? And if you did, right, how did you get out of it? So if somebody on the other side of this camera is actually having that same question about certain things that are happening and thinking that it's like, oh, it's all God's fault. What's an advice or what's a, 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 well, the, a, a teaching you could give to somebody? The right first now? thing is that I relate to you because I've been there. I've been in moments in my life where I've questioned why, why me? Where are you? When I was in the hospital once, uh, I lived two years in the hospital with many surgeries. Uh, one day they gave me, they gave me some, some, some news that I didn't want to hear. Mm. And I went crazy and I started yelling, God, why me? Where are you, God? You know. And as time went by, uh, everything was all right. I recovered. And now I'm home with my family, in my house. I've been, I've been so blessed. And in my moment of, of prayer, I was reminded about that day. You know, remember that day that you were saying, where is God, why me? And I look back at the day that I stepped on the IED. God was there when I stepped on that IED. He was taking care of my Marines so they could take care of me. Mm. God was with Rosemary, giving her the strength, the wisdom, the love, so she could take care of me. Mm. God was with the doctors, with the nurses, with my daughters. And I, under I, and I understand that God has never been absent from my life. So to those people, I tell them, open your eyes. Look at your surroundings. Mm -hmm. You are alive. Because someone believed in you when you didn't even believe in yourself. God is always showing you his love through so many people. You're just looking at the wrong view. Look at your family, look at your loved ones, look at your friends. Look at all the things that you have around you that have made you the person that you are today mm -hmm. and be grateful. Mm -hmm. And that's, after the experience that I had, I'm supposed to be dead. Yeah. I faced death, yeah. but I'm alive. Amen. So I'm a living miracle. So that's what I, that's what I, that's what I tell them, you know. If you are alive, it's for a purpose. Amen. And you're not alive because of your own strength. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's someone that's been praying for you. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's someone that's been believing for you, even when you didn't believe in yourself. So. Yeah, that's 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 what I tell. Mm, that's so powerful. Does that makes sense. No, it makes um, a, a <laughs> lot of sense, and I know people are gonna be blessed by it. 
uh, um, you bless me by it, you know, to just remind me also, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? That sometimes when we get in our own feelings, sometimes okay, we're human, you know, mm -hmm. but the goal is not to stay there. No, you no, know? no, no. So, no. Um, but bro. Um, now it's okay. It's okay to cry. Right. It's okay to be yeah. sad. I cry all the time. <laughs> but not every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta wake up, stand up and. Yeah. And give your best because you have a gift and a purpose. Amen. And that gift that you have, that purpose, is going to change someone's life as well. Yeah. And sometimes my tears are someone else's miracle. Yeah. People ask me all the time, hey, why don't you pray for a miracle that you could grow both of your legs and you grow another hand? And I tell them, my life is a miracle. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, because you 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 see it's just all perspective, you know, and how you see it and you yeah. know, like it's it's so good, man. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much, bro, for for this time um, and this opportunity that that we can you know break bread a little bit, have some great coffee, and um um and chat, you know, and and hear a little bit more about you know just you, just you know how you think, you know. I like doing these interviews with people because I like to get to a place where just see how somebody thinks, you know, it could tell you a lot about who the person is, right? You gotta um, be grateful, man. And you gotta be grateful. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, so good. So if you are watching this video, leave a comment, you know, share with us, engage with us. I'm gonna be leaving all of uh, Carlos Evans' social media. Go ahead, give him a follow, man. <laughs> I definitely know he spoke to you today. Give him a follow. Follow all his uh, accounts. Um, I'm pretty sure everything that anything new that you're gonna be doing, you're gonna probably showcase yeah. it on on your social platforms. You got a website also, yeah, right? Yeah. CREvans.org. Uh, yep. Yeah. And you got the hands that um, yeah. touching hand and leaving prints. A, that's amazing, man. I, I don't want to say too too much about it because I want people to go into it and and um, um and I just, search it. I just thought about something. You know, sometimes you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta be broken to grow stronger yeah. and you know if you feeling right now that you know you're broken in some parts of your life it's you're just getting prepared to grow stronger Amen. so that's why i say today i'm stronger than the person i used to be 15 years ago yeah amen to that thank you bro i appreciate you man thank you for the time thank you for coming down and and uh, enjoying you know coming to my home and and us having this this conversation bro. beautiful Thank you, man. And to everybody watching this video, you already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and share this with a million people that you know, you know? Just let people, um, I just wanna let people know that, that there's so many other people going through things, yeah. right? That, that they can be touched and blessed by it, by just hearing somebody's story, you know what I mean? Um, so thank you for sharing your story. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have you know other conversations about other things. Of course. Um, and I'm excited to to see what the Lord has in store for you, you know, this year. Um, but like every other coffee break, we'll see you in the next one. Coffee break. Celebrating people. But you're you're just walking in the imagen of of God. You know what I'm saying? Because that's at the end of the day, that's what the Lord wants us. He wants us to be like Christ, bro. Or rolling. Huh? Or rolling. Or rolling. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but when I met this guy, I'm, I was like literally blown away. I was mm -hmm. like, wow. And I can relate to you because like right now, like you were blown away. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>